yeah you know this is a really cool plant um you know there's something really special about its spring color it's just a little bit different kind of this bronze red color and then you get uh, this uh, green veining in it as well. It's really nice. Yeah, I, I like that because like you said, you get that green veining in the leaf itself with sort of that bronze brick kind of color, but then you also get green petioles and more green stemming. And this gives something kind of unique for a traditional upright Japanese maple yeah. with an untraditional color. Uh, this is a plant that goes to oranges and reds in the fall. And we've got one of these at Maplewood Gardens that everyone's always asking about and we hadn't made it available in a long time, so we grafted a bunch to make them available because we do have 1,400 different varieties of Japanese maples. We claim 1,000. We've got a lot of Japanese maples here, and we're always trying to produce more and more and make those trees available. If we have it, our goal is to make it available, and this is one of those examples, a classic Japanese introduction that you don't find often in the nursery trade, um, Acer Palmatum Kariba. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things I really love about Mr. Maple and just our experience here is just that you know, a lot of these cultivars can kind of get forgotten about or left behind. And we're always kind of trying to bring things back and make sure that, like you said, when we, we see something that's worthy of that, that, of that production, we definitely want to try to get it out there. And I think this is definitely one that if you had it in your collection, a lot of people may not recognize that or know that by name, but it's something they're going to recognize and say, wow, what is that? Yeah, yeah it's one we've been getting asked about for years.